If you have children under the age of 12, the shift in mask guidance for adults has suddenly made life a little more complicated. Many of you have submitted questions through clickondetroit.com and our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to help answer some of those concerns. Hey, Doc. The CDC guidance left parents and grandparents of children under 12 with lots of questions and no easy answers. Here's a viewer question we've received repeatedly and the factors I think that parents and grandparents really need to consider. Jennifer asks, if the vaccines are not 100% effective, shouldn't my husband and I continue to wear masks even though we're fully vaccinated to protect our seven-year-old? Also, is it truly safe for her to be around kids outdoors who aren't wearing masks at the playground or t-ball practice? I was just getting comfortable with these activities with masks, but now I'm anxious about her participating. First, I assume you're asking about wearing masks in public, not at home. And at this point for vaccinated people, masks really become a matter of personal risk assessment. We all have a different threshold at which we're comfortable. Getting vaccinated is definitely the most important base layer of protection we have available. And for most people, that's enough. But masks are undoubtedly helpful. And in certain circumstances, that extra layer can provide more comfort. If your daughter had a high risk underlying medical condition, for example. You may also want to continue wearing masks to model that behavior for your daughter because kids will need to continue wearing masks in many places until a vaccine is available for them. Regarding your daughter playing outside with other unmasked children, there are a few things to consider. The risk of spread outdoors is very, very low, but kids often huddle in a fort or hang out under a playscape, and that's not truly outdoors. So you have to consider the type of activity and contact she's having. Big picture, because you and your husband are vaccinated, the risk of you bringing the virus home to your daughter is low, but only you can say if it's low enough. Now, on the flip side of that, there's actually a bigger chance now that your daughter might be the one to bring the virus into your home since she can't be vaccinated yet and kids have very unpredictable exposures. All the more reason to make sure that everyone who can be vaccinated is. Back to you.